Sean, Let's Legal for Dummies. So before I go and change the mag spring in the Vulcan SMG, I thought, well, wouldn't an easy try be to use the TIPX that has the Helix spring in it already? So HP 68's uh, fresh CO2, three turns from factory, and we'll see if it will fire uh, all 11 of them uninterrupted. But first, I had a comment this morning from Mark regarding, it was from a, another video uh, regarding my trap and something that I don't know why, never thought of it myself, but in, in, in my video, I was speaking about the folds, the folds of my nylon uh, alternating. So keeping this fold on this side and, the, and obviously the next sheet, the fold on the other side. And by fold, I mean like, see how I just fold it in half. Well, he had a very simple solution that I could try. And I am going to try it rather than folding it like this and draping it, pull it in on itself, so in on the center, like this. And the reason for that is, well, then your strongest edge is on the outside, so hitting it on the inside should allow a little more deflection, absorption. Um, so, I'm going to fold the rest of these sheets and then uh, we'll, we'll give it a shot. Voila. Uh, it's a lot harder to manipulate it into place. Uh, the nylon, blessing nylon, um, the way it's shipped is, is folded and I don't know, it's creased very well in, in, a, in a certain direction. So folding it in on itself, um, it does have quite some memory. So it took a little more effort to, to get it over the crossbars and, and keep it folded in on itself. So, uh, just a trial. But let's see if uh, TPX will cycle all 12, three turns with a um, helix spring. Three hundred and fourteen. Oh, oh, silly me. That was a BK kinetic, and that was supposed to be in the next magazine. Uh, so clearly, I didn't empty the one out. So there are actually twelve rounds in here. There's one in uh, the breach already. The rest should be HP 68s. Are you dead? Three oh two. Two eighty. Jam. Oh, it was too good to be true. Half loaded. And it is a flip. So, It very well could be, don't look down the barrel. Don't look down the barrel. <laughs> uh, yeah. I did not look down the barrel, but I was thinking about it and then remembered I had a CO2 on board and I had a jam 
A jam and a TIPX is a little bit different than an FSC that's using a SEER system or an M17 for that matter. Um, that the valve, firing valve, doesn't actually jam. It actually opens back up. Uh, but that does not mean you look down the barrel. So gun safety, guys. Uh, I didn't feed with the magazine. So I'm thinking it's probably this block. Um, first experience using the Tipman block. Uh, the previous block that I used was a Kill House. Uh, it's kind of a cheap kind of offshore brand, but it did work very well until it cracked in half. So I may have to either experiment with filing this block or there are some other aftermarket blocks out there and um, even some that only have provision for one detent, which in my opinion offers possibly a little more efficiency. But let's finish this mag off anyways. There are some good shots in there and that BK that came out of here <clears throat> uh, is a bore matched 8.1 gram at 314 feet per second was the first shot. And beauty of, actually, well here I can show you guys, of the BKs in the TIPX mag, if I can get them to cycle reliably, is because the ball catch is on the back, when the tip breaks off, these are not broken off by the way, but I had a few that did break off and they no longer cycle in the FSC mag because that little point there actually is part of its retention. So when it loses that, they actually become just a hair shorter. But in a TIPX mag, because it's using the skirt to retain the projectile, the tip is irrelevant. And I guess I'm shooting that one because I put it in there and I'm going to put back in the HP. <laughs> BK Kinetic. 280, I think that was. No, it was not. That was an HP. So the next one should be a BK Kinetic. And it was. 256. Still a work in progress. Uh, nothing's perfect once you start turning them up, guys. And I am no exception. Let's just fire a couple more here. In the uh, SMG Magwell HB68s. So, I, I lost track of them. I'm not even trying to count anymore, guys. I think I'm getting stupider. <laughs> uh, I'm so hard on myself sometimes. All right, guys. Um, any case, all right, so it's not a magazine issue. Um, could be a block. Could be a bolt spring. Doubt it. You know, I don't have that problem on HPA. CO2 is obviously a little more uh, temperamental, as we all know. So I'm gonna start, I think, with the block. And we may dial, the, dial it in a little bit more. I'm quite happy with kind of where the power is. Um, De definitely showing progress just when you think it's over uh so something has come to light so i was actually well 
Uh, somebody asked about what, from my video last night on the TIPX, what that translated to, uh, if I was shooting a three gram ball, I don't have any burning kinetics out here. Um, what I do have is a 3.7 gram um, nylon riot ball. So I was just loading my magazine up and this is what I found. That would be an HP 68 in there. Stuck, not stuck hard, but that could be an issue um, with the actual ugh, uh, misfire I'm having, or the jams. And it could be due to excessive back pressure. So I am going to actually go and try my factory barrel again, just to eliminate that uh, back pressure uh, issue as one of the culprits. So it's a fresh CO2 in there. Obviously round balls probably aren't gonna jam. They should be moving pretty fast. 404. They are moving really fast out of there. 382. The issue I have with shooting light projectiles is my trap, even my old trap, never was very good at the light projectiles. There's only eight. Eight fifty four. You can hear those things dancing around in there. Eight forty two. I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> uh, I know those these aren't carrying much weight, but <sighs> they're gonna leave a smack. Those are going to sting. Three twenty, and then I'm just gonna call it there. <clears throat> My bike is uncovered, and I'm pretty sure that just hit it. Gives a good idea. I think I said a kinetic would be burning kinetic would probably be moving like four twenty five. So this is a three point seven gram moving four hundred. It's pretty quick. Factory barrel HP sixty eight. So I also took out. The uh, back layer of my traps. So I just have the single in here, single layer folded to the center. Three twenty-two. I'm not going to cry on the rest. I just want to see if the manual cycle. Failure to feed. Another half round. A half round usually means there's a flip in there, and there was. So it's not back pressure related. So block is next. 